Hello all. So today I'm talking about a P0449 uh, error code with the Chevy Silverado or a GMC Sierra. Uh, actually many different Chevys. But um, uh, what happens if you get this error code? It's saying that you have a problem with the EVAP system, which is two main things, uh, which I'll go over. And uh, the official uh, definition when it comes up will be evaporative system vent control circuit malfunction. So what is the EVAP system? The EVAP system uh, is helps with emissions. It, it doesn't let the vapors from the gas that's inside the gas tank, it just doesn't let them uh, go into the atmosphere. And what it does is it feeds them back into the engine so that they can be burnt off. And it, this helps with emissions and it helps with, uh, with uh, fuel efficiency too in some cases. And so the two main causes of this when it happens is uh, number one is the gas cap. If the gas cap's not screwed on or it's not screwed on all the way, uh, inside too is a little rubber uh, piece that helps it seal. If that gets broken or damaged or there might be grime in the way or something, it, it needs to get a good seal or it could cause this error code. Uh, a lot of people just go out and buy one. Um, you can uh, just make sure if you do that it, it matches your make, model, and year of vehicle because there can be some differences sometimes. And uh, one of, one of, a big cause of this is the vent solenoid. And what the vent solenoid does is it is it opens when the engine turns on so that the vapors can go into the engine. And when the engine is turned off, it closes so that they don't escape into the atmosphere. So when these go bad, they just either get stuck open or they get stuck closed and they'll, it'll throw this air. And uh, it falls in, into the do-it-yourself do category if you want to swap one of these out. It's not too difficult. They'll be located underneath the vehicle and uh, they'll have a, a hose going to them and uh, an electrical connection and it's basically it just to swap them out uh, but of course if in doubt you know take it to a mechanic and uh, one of the the last things if you tried both of these and you still got the air and it won't clear uh, the last thing would be that there's probably a leak inside the evap system somewhere if you take it to a mechanic they're going to uh, have a smoke machine and they'll, they'll fill up the evap system with smoke and where the smoke comes out will be where the leaks at uh, you, you may not have that option, so you might have to take it to a mechanic at this point. Uh, I have seen some uh, low-cost smoke machines for around $100, $200, but that, that might start be getting up there for, for a do-it-yourself individual. But either way, that's, that's what you'd want to look for. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, if you have anything to add, please uh, uh, type it into the comments below. And uh, if you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. But that's basically it. Uh, if this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.